Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller and I've got a fun and functional tutorial for us today creating Mediterranean style roofs. Um, in my Google search here I've pulled up a couple pictures to show you an example of what it is that uh, we're going to set out to create today. This is the sort of um, roof that I want to duplicate. These uh, radius these half circle, quarter circle shape pottery tiles that you see adorning the roofs of so many Mediterranean um, type of roofs. And they are my personal favorites. I, risk, I wish my roof had these, but it doesn't, so maybe my next house will. So these are the sort of uh, pottery tiles that we're going to create and place on our rooftop right here in Hexagon. So I've created an example roof, nothing uh, earth shattering, and we're going to create the tiles to go on top of it. I'm going to zoom out and to start with, I'm going to come up here to my 3D Primitives tab and click on my grid. And I want to create a long, thin uh, cell for my grid. I just want to click once, click once come over here and I'm going to type in 120 and in here I'm going to type 5. 120 in the U and 5 in the V. I'm going to validate that and that gives me a nice large grid to, um, to place on my roof from which we will make our tiles out of. I'm just going to bring this into uh, scale it here to fit on my roof. And there's probably um, many, many, many different ways that a person could go about creating a roof like this. Uh, this is my personal favorite and there's several reasons why. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and rotate that 45 degrees and I'm just going to scale it down here. Now this is going to sound and probably look odd but I want it to have um, a large offset from the top here. I, in other words, I don't want the top of my grid to come all the way up to the top of my roof. I do want it to hang out over the edge like this. And the sides, that looks good and that looks good. Okay, now we're ready to start creating the profile on our roof. And I'm just going to select any one of those edges any one of the vertical edges. I'm going to hit loop and now I'm going to hit ring and when I did that it creates over here some options in my properties tab and this t this function or this tool here in the properties tab is identical to the one over in function that you'd find by right clicking, right clicking and going down to advanced selection. So over here I'm just going to select a number of seven. I'm not going to play with the offset uh, because that can at certain times, and I'll show you, it can change the distance between the selected edges. Like, look at here, this is uh, much narrower um, than the other ones, and, and, and that's much wider. So I'm not even going to fool around with my offset. I'm just going to select 7, and with my selection, axis cre uh, enabled. I'm going to click on soft selection and 2.62 I guess that is good to start off with. I'm just going to pull upwards and create that Mediterranean arched wave-like undulating pattern type of uh, profile and that looks good. I'm going to click off in my screen and now I'm just going to put it right back down on my roof, just like that. Now here's why I wasn't too worried about the, um, the left and right or side arrangement of this, is because I know I'm going to have to go and, 
and uh, do some cleanup work, especially on this side. So I'm just going to select these two edges here. I'm going to loop it and hit soft select, uh, convert selection to faces, select those, and I'm just going to delete them. And now I uh, probably need to do one more. Select that, loop it, convert it to faces, and I'm going to delete that. Okay, now, now I'm going to worry about uh, centering this on my roof. And I've got some good overhang. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, let's, this is pro the next thing that we're going to do is probably going to be the hardest part of this entire tutorial. What I want to do is I want to uh, select, I have to change to world view on this. What I want to do is I want to select these horizontal edges here, but I don't want the end ones selected. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go and show you how lazy I'm getting. I'm going to have to go and do it manually. And I'm going to loop that. Now, all those inner uh, horizontal edges are selected. And what I want to do is come up here to my vertex modeling. I'm going to click on Edge Tools. I'm going to click on this center one here. And what I want to do is copy these edges and move them just a little bit of distance away. And I want to copy them and move them in this direction. I do not want to move them downwards in that direction. Because the idea of a roof is to shed rainwater and not collect it. And now that I have these selected, I'm just going to bring them up and that's probably a little high. I don't want it quite that high. There, I like that. I'm going to rotate in over here on the side, get a side view, and I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. What I want, ideally, and you can create this however you want, where the thickness of the roof tile comes, I want a, as much of a 90 degree angle with the rest of the tiles as I can create. I want that sharp angle. And the reason why I want that is the sharper the angle when I bring that into when I bring this into view or any other rendering program that sharp angle will create a stronger interplay between light and shadow as opposed to a sloping angle like that. And I think a sloping angle like that does look good, but it's not going to give me the rendering effect that I uh, want to uh, have in, when, I, when we texture this and we render it. So I want a nice strong angle just like that. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in and select my front edge. I'm going to loop that come up here to Fast Extrude, and I'm just going to extrude downward and create a thickness to the front of my roofing tiles. Okay, that front thickness looks pretty good. That looks about right. And let me move this back a little bit. Okay, now we've got some thickness to it. What I want to do is come up here to Fast Extrude again. I'm going to select, change to Selection View because I want to uh, move it back along the Z axis. And that one is in line with my roof. So I am now going to just, as you see what I'm doing here, I'm just going to move it back a little bit. Click off of that and I do see that I need to raise it up off my roof just a little bit. Okay, the reason why I did that last stretch is because if you do whatever position you put this in in your 3D program and render it, if you do happen to be looking up underneath it, you wouldn't see that this is a, t uh, a hollow shell. Okay, we are done with this side of the roof. And the reason I like this style of making a roof 
is one, it's extremely fast and very easy, and two, look at the polygon count that we've got for this side of the roof. It's only 1,287 uh, faces or 1,287 polygons, which is very, very low. And so I like that. Now what I want to do is duplicate it and place a copy on the other side of the roof. And I'm going to do that with my symmetry tool. I'm going to hide my roof and I'm going to click because I want to oops because I want to eh, let me abort that because I want to create it along th on on this side of my original copy I'm going to highlight this side of my symmetry little box here and it creates a nice copy for me I'm going to re-enable my roof and move this one over till it's in place where it where it needs to be and I see it's cutting into my roof here so I'm gonna have to move it over a little bit more there we are and now with both of my roof um, tile pieces uh, selected I'm going to weld them together with my weld tool I'm going to hide my roof here. I'm going to select that edge, select that edge. I'm going to loop them. And because this is all one piece now, I'm going to hit my bridge command, and that creates a, uh, a, a union between the, between the two of them. But unfortunately, it's not exactly the look I'm looking for. So I'm going to come up here to tessellate. I'm going to come down to the third one, which is tessellate by slice. I'm going to, in the center of my roof, hold down my shift key. I'm going to click once, which creates a nice slice right down the middle. I'm going to validate that. I'm going to select that edge. I'm going to loop it. Come down here to my edge tools. On my first edge tool, is what that's the one I want. I'm going to click extract around, and I'm going to bring it out about halfway through which is uh, what I want. I'm going to select all three of these, loop them, and now I'm just going to come up just a little bit. Ideally what I want to do is just create more of a, um, a uh, an arch through here rather than have any type of sharp peak. Make it a little bit more rounded and I like that profile. I'm going to select that edge and that I'm, a, I'm sorry, the, I'm going to select both those two points. I'm going to spin around to the other side of the roof. I'm going to select the other corresponding points and I'm just going to bring them down a little bit. Select that middle one. Select that middle one. and just create a nice profile. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to select that middle edge. I'm going to loop it. I'm going to come up here to select uh, selection. Click on convert selection to faces. Now this is why I wanted that large offset between the top of my tiles and my roof because I'm going to come up here to sweep surfaces and when I get the axial function of this tool I'm just going to raise up just a little bit and try to duplicate the same thickness as, uh, excuse me, I need to expand my selection. I'm going to hold down shift and hit my plus key which expands my selection. Now. I will click on my sweep surface and duplicate the thickness of my tiles to match my other ones. And that looks good. So there we are. We've got a nice Mediterranean style roof done very quickly, done very effortlessly. Now if you notice, you have some nice, the way it appears here, you have some nice sharp edges but up here we've lost that if you look at the geometry 
it looks like yeah I need to adjust these edges bring them forward a little bit because I don't have that nice sharp edge uh, like the other one so I'm just going to use my X scaling tool and just scale it out till I have a nice sharp edge just like the other ones now let's look at it it still doesn't look good so we will come up here to utilities I will click on triangulate non-planar faces click on this first one here Oop, I need to have it selected click on my first one here and you see I'm gonna un undo and redo you see it uh, created a lot of uh, three-sided polygons I guess the um, that that uh, that last little um, function that we did uh, in creating this scalloped uh, top on the roof did something with the geometry that that threw it off but by triangulating the non-planar surfaces look what it did we've got a nice sharp edge now so that's it for this tutorial we're going to create another one where we will put some some bordering trim pieces here along the side I know my neighbor's roof next door he has his little tiles that come down the side of his roof and create a nice finish and it uh, and it caps off the ends here on the edge of the roof so that's what we're gonna do uh, in our next tutorial and we'll be done so that's it for this thanks for watching here at geek at play studios my name's Gary Miller have a good day